Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week I'll be going over the color by speed tab in the Unity Particle System, and I'll be showing you some interesting things um, that you can do with it. So for this week's starting particle system, it's the default particle system, but I've made some changes that are kind of different from usual. I've kept the initial rotation transform, but I've zeroed out the position transform. I've changed the start speed to be zero and the emission rate instead of 10 particles per second to be 100 particles per second. And then I've also changed the starting radius to be a little bit larger as 2.5 instead of one. And then I have an initial velocity um, uh, as a curve or velocity over lifetime as a curve. And then I have it um, basically just a straight linear line that's going upwards to a maximum velocity of 10. So, but other than that, it's a basic um, cone particle system. So without further ado, let's get started. So the color by speed is similar to color over lifetime in that it gives you a gradient to determine what the particle's color will be like um, depending on certain conditions. And instead of over time, um, now we're gonna be dealing with uh, by speed. So down here you can see a speed range, which basically means um, the, col the particle will change color depending on um, the current speed that it is in here. So right now it's going from uh, 0 to 10. So um, for, the, for its color, the color for the particle is only going to be um, changed when it's going from a speed of 0 to 1. So let's change that um, to match our velocity over lifetime over here from 0 to 10. And then let's go in here and actually edit some gradients. Um, so let's just give it a uh, starting color and a uh, final color. So as you can see here, the particle is changing um, its color not by um, how long the particle has been living, but for how fast the particle is going. So at a speed of zero, the particle is going to be red, and then as it gets faster and faster, it's going to slowly turn into pool, purple, and then blue. Sorry. Um, so you can see that pretty clearly right here. Um, so as for interesting things that you can do with it, um, as you can kind of see, we have a almost lava lamp looking effect right now. Um, you can also um, do some interesting things with the alphas as well. Let's see if I can do that right here. Um, so instead of having it be opaque all the time, let's make our particles a little bit um, more interesting by having them fade in and fade out for first off. And then instead of completely opaque, we want our particles to have a little bit of transparency, just so it makes them look a little bit more uh, interesting and not quite as bright. Um, so then let's also give them some interesting velocities. So instead of just having a straight curve system, we're just gonna have a random between two curves. And then let's put that uh, Z velocity uh, similar to the original one that we had. So we're not going to change that at all. We're going to have both curves be identical. So it'll basically just be following um, a single curve instead of um, two curves. So let's turn that off. And then let's put these two down here. Actually, let's change it to one of the presets that we have from the earlier tutorials, which is kind of like this wiggly sine and cosine wave. So it can kind of give an interesting back and forth effect for the particles to have. And let's change the maximum speed a little bit and copy that over. And voila, you have a kind of interesting, spinny looking, colorful effect that you can kind of use into a lava lamp, um, which we'll actually be able to do a little bit more of in the next week's video using size over lifetime. So we can change the size of the particles um, as they um, kind of go throughout their lifetime. So you can change their size over time, basically. Um, that's about it for this uh, video. Color by speed is very similar to color over lifetime, so it was pretty short. Um, but you can do some interesting things with it as well. So that's, that's it, like I said. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Message me on YouTube or leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll get to it, and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. So thanks for watching.